Oh, sure. Hey, how's it going? Hey. How y'all doing? Doing pretty good. Um, craziness. Can we just hang in here real quick? Uh, yep. You got to deliver, yeah. You got to deliver for me real quick? Yep. Mm-hmm. How y'all doing? Doing pretty good. Uh, a little bit uncomfortable with that little bit of news I saw and the fact it's all pointing back to that school and the actual address. Looks yeah, I mean, I, I, what'd you learn at the Capitol today, man? Um... They usually run me around in circles. When I talked to the elected officials back in 2018 and they saw what I had, they took off and would always run. Initially, some were very, very open. When I was talking and communicating with the Democratic Party, which I have a great deal of information there where I'm not going to let... I was talking with Jerry Henderson mm-hmm. for a good month. And he was like, we need to meet. You got some really good information. I can't make it till November. I'm pretty sure you saw some of that. Yeah, yeah, you sure. <laughs> so, um, so you're getting a lot of that again today. I mean, I think part of the... Let me find what I got, which is yours. Yes. I apologize about that. This is, I didn't get a lot of things I'm doing good. All right. This is what I gave to the FBI. Now, they threw me in jail never knowing that part of what my plan the FBI was, did? The FBI is 100% been absolutely incredible. Mm-hmm. Federal Bureau of Investigations have been amazing this whole time. That's why I'm going back to them and reporting to them again and saying, well, there's just a name change. That's it. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to know what's going on. I gave this folder to them and gave them that information. The FBI agent was very, very taken back and said, can I keep this folder? I said, sure you can. Later, they arrested me, and I made basically flyers talking about that they threw me in jail. And I got out and immediately rebounded, contacted my supporter in Colorado Springs. Colorado said, we are going to launch broken equality to protect myself. And then when Amanda, boss, threatened me with saying harassment, which I never even spoke to her, Amanda was the actual reporter of the Democratic Gazette. When I thought things were going real smoothly with us, Mm -hmm. that actually went very south. And I got extremely uncomfortable and shut all that down. But I've got to get here. I mean, I've seen all of this stuff online. And and I got the paperwork on my hand. Let me me lay out for you what I have found out. um, and, And we'll go from there. The, what is happening at the building, the building is closed. There's no more residential program. The building, the phone number is still ringing there because there's a security guard. But by the end of June, the entire operation of what is now called uh, the the new initials will be moving to the armory building across uh, Reserve Street. The one that's actually new, the new building. New the one that they had com- cosmetology. That sounds right. Um, and and then the the old Army Navy Hospital will go will be that derelict building that everybody has to worry about because as you see right over there, there's a there's an old VA building over there that's just standing there and you can't do anything about it. So that's where the main concern is in the community. Um, the I talked to uh, Miss uh, Fultz. Am I correct? What's her last name? Not Fultz. Fultz is. Uh, there uh, is a woman by the name of Miles. Uh, no, I'm talking to the, the woman who, who pressed charges against her. That would be Miss Lily Kirsch. Kirsch, and that's what it is. By the way, mm-hmm. um, according to my attorney, which I have letters from him, plus I have letters of that period of time to release things from down here in Darling County, which I wouldn't got all that anyway. Mm-hmm. So if they ever tried to come after me again, I'm like, no, no, double jeopardy. I have contacted them. That's all been a bunch of lies. I'm not going to put up with this harassment. Mm-hmm. They said, oh, this had nothing to do with ACTI. This had nothing to do with Miss Lee Hurst. That came from my attorney in late 2019. Well, I mean, so I mean, it looks extremely fishy when the actual arrest records and everything else says electronic harassment, victim, Miss Lee Hurst, place of work. ACTI, it doesn't add up with what he's saying. 
Well, I mean, I, I can't. I know the, you, 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 were, you were, I know what happened from talking to her. Um, you know what happened from her standpoint. And from the police report. I saw the police report. Um, that there was no police report. Mm-hmm. Not really. <laughs> there was no police report. I've seen it and I can, I can share it with you. I mean, and, I would love to and see whether that. that's, it, um, and so in talking to Ms. Kirsch, what she said is that um, she, in a way, is thankful uh, for what you brought to light. The problems in the old building, which come from being in an old building, helped her make people in Little Rock aware of the resources they need to clean the place up, to get a better cooling system that would not encourage mm-hmm. the growth of mold and mildew, and um, being able to get those resources in place so that they could um, fix them. Now, the... Did she tell you anything about Mr. Rex Pratt? No. At this point, my, my concern is about your allegations that the building made you sick. Oh, it 100% made me sick. And so she... They knew it made me sick. And what she brought to light, it gave them the ability to, to remedy the situation from an environment to repair the building. Now to the point... It seems a little awkward on the aspects. I was cooperating with them very, very cordially, very kindly. I would, she kept saying, keep conversations open up, keep talking with us, but do not involve the police, do not do this, do not do that. I said, Miss Willie Kirsch, all I want is my education, my health met, I need my medical records, and you guys are dragging this on, and it is very uncomfortable to be dealing with this. And I'm a rational human being, but I am having students tell me that you guys are sneaking equipment in to record me. That makes me uncomfortable. So, my point is this. I only want to speak to you, and you will speak to them. So if any charges come, I'm going to know who they come from. But you know I have sores and lesions all over my body. You've seen it. You guys know that I'm giving this place a bad name and the state of Arkansas a bad reputation. And now it's outside the state. Like I've told people, I've got supporters outside this country. I will take it outside this country and show that there were students with sores and lesions and people with IVs in their arm receiving morphine and me severely sick. And then I will gladly show people my genitals and how bad and inflamed they were for literally a year. Do you have... Throwing me in jail, concerned about my health? Do you know how incredibly bad that looks to be hurting someone with a disability and doing that to other people and threatening them? It makes my story look very, very strong and viable. It makes their story look very, very weak and bad. That's sad. What I would need from you, Brian, I would need, you're going to need, because you're, you're, go, you're going to need the medical records. Uh, that, they had my medical records. You don't have them? Well, guess what? I have We're, proof. I have proof of it. I have pictures and photographs. You're going to need if the medical I find records. The medical, let's put it this way. If they've shredded them, that's on them. They, you're going to need medical records from the doctor. Who oh, treated. I do have a doctor that did treat me and give me medicine. And the first thing he told me was this. And that was at our care. Plus, Dr. John Gary Wheeler with the Contagious Disease Department of Arkansas saw the photographs and pictures. He knew I was sick. Yeah, but it, you're going to need a medical record from a doctor that says... This is what caused your illness, and that will. Oh, he said it. He said it was either scabies, or he said it was scalding staph infection. Nothing else. And since I didn't take the scabies medicine because it was a hundred dollars, I couldn't afford it. I took the medicine for basically scalding staph, which was antibiotics, cleared up and everything. I still took bleach baths because I read if you have scalding staph infection, take bleach baths. I was in severe shape. That's, but. Nothing environmentally in the building can be tied to that infection that you have. 
Okay, I come in healthy, perfectly healthy, went down there to the health department, went through a full physical, they gave me basically shots and everything, and vaccinations, and then I go down there and become severely sick and other people were sick there too. I have hazardous living conditions on videos and this and that. Guess what? No, that is enough circumstantial evidence to prosecute. It's not though. Yes, it is. My, my uncle is an attorney. Yes, if I can show the living conditions that I dwell in are severe and the students are put in that living conditions forced upon us, yes, that is reasons to be convicted for a crime if you show injuries to other people and yourself. Yes. There's been no... Okay, um, how could I be put in jail crime. on erroneous charges no. that you don't exist? You were put in jail for leaving long phone messages. No, I left no long phone messages with her. She asked me to call her and report anything the students told her or told me I did. And then I refused to talk to her anymore. So that's false. And that does not give grounds of harassment when I'm trying to get my health records together, which they withheld for proper medical treatment. It sounds like you don't have the records. Because they withheld. You're going, they can't, your doctor, your records have to be held by the doctor. You need to find and that doctor. And second medical. You need, to find that, you need to find a that doctor that says, and I've gone through this with the VA, with patients through, that have been having gripes with the VA. You're going to need to have a doctor that says, this is point A, the building caused result B. And absent that, there's almost nothing else in the legal realm they can do, and there's nothing I can do. And, and what I want you to what I want you to see bigger picture wise, Brian here, and I'm not sure I'm going to have you leave here that, and not be disappointed. But what I want you to see bigger picture here is the building is closed. The built no one's living there anymore. The building was. Oh, if I see that building even pop one person up, and I will be making business down there. If it, I see that building pop one person up. I promise you, if there's students in there or anything, they will be contacted. The, the program has ended as you know it, the, or as you knew it. The program is now... Um, and my videos that are up on social media will remain. My statements will remain. And guess what? They know they harmed me. And I did put in a claim against Arkansas. They know the injuries are there. And guess what? They have victimized my family seriously. I don't want to hear the cop-out excuses. Well, then you they need to, had, you need to they had the zero evidence towards me and threw me in jail and victimized me and terrorized me and th basically terrorized my family. Zero. Purely circumstantial. And then they used that as a way to blackmail me and take down what I had up there showing what their crime was. That is a crime within itself. What, what, are you, what crime are you accusing them of? Assaulting you? Yes. Do you think having someone come and arrest you on erroneous charges, accusing you of terroristic threatening when you threaten with nobody? Do you know how stupid it would be for me to threaten somebody with this much information, showing how grossly wrong they are mistreating people? Okay, let's say this. Was the building severely neglected with severe, severe issues? Did they turn around and try to promptly clean the building up? very super quickly and basically disguised this and hide it by putting makeup on a pig. Did they no did they, did they, they did. try to hide it? Did they did they come yes. to the real and yeah. now what they've realized is realized. that it, in in doing in trying to keep that building so, up was costing them twelve million dollars. So think a about year. that. They just realized. So making those students live in those hazardous living conditions, which I have the maps to prove it. I have the moisture testing to prove it which that right there will show that my physical health was affected by that as well as others. That's liability, that's evidence that goes to court. So guess what? They would lose with everything else I got, the physical evidence, the videos, the documentation, the sores on my body, the perfect health I came in there in, the bad health I left. Then that is admissible in the court. Then take Period. the court. Then take oh, the court. and in the state of Arkansas, we can't. You covered that story. So I go you to can the take it. You can go to I the go to the commission, and that's what I've done. That's already been filled out. There we go. And to not tell the story of how the students were victimized is wrong. Well, that, that's the venue you have to go to now. Oh, I'll go there, to the venue. Until, until there's a result out of the claims commission, I can't 
help you, you with you the job. You are absolutely 100% sure. Or possible now. And I absolutely appreciate you for that because truth be known, they had me running around in 50 ways to circles when all they had to do, all they had to do is just simply say, oh, that's, all they had to do was just simply say, hey, let's go down here and get this. That's it. Yeah. Do, you that's, have a, do you have an attorney to help you with the claim? Oh, no, that's already been set up. To the claims been fit. It's been here. certified and everything Good. today. Plus, Jay Hart wrote a letter to them on this, mm -hmm. explaining the issues that happened to myself and so on. So, yeah, it's been done. Then, and we'll see what happens. When it does, and I, and I advise you, I don't know if you have the funds to do it, they say you don't need a lawyer in that, in the claims commission, but You're I, right. I think it helps. Uh, try and get yourself one to help you navigate this process. And touch base with me when I will 100% touch better for sure. Okay. Now, I believe the thumb drive's in there. I may be mistaken. It doesn't feel like it. If it's not, then I probably left it in And if it's not, then it's the thumb drive that I've got play. Now, I did not keep everything on that. Um, These are videos and stuff like that that you There is videos on there. There is actually screen or some statements. There mm -hmm. was stuff like that. Uh, some of it is kind of thrown together real quick to mm -hmm. make sure I kept some of the stuff together. So you might have duplicates. But um, it, it's been an insane thing. A brush with the legal system and a brush with the medical system at the same time is never going to be you. Yeah. But at this, I, I'm glad you bring your case to them. Uh, it's That's the venue you need to go to now. And let me know what happens. Well, not, a lot of people are extremely upset about this situation. The FBI even said this is an insane amount of evidence. This is way more than you needed to show neglect and abuse. The videos alone show that, and that directly shows that you would have been affected by that physically, emotionally, mentally, and your sores and everything. But in this time, and this time developed here, you can clearly show that that building is one like it. Oh, you came in there for a cool physical. By their second man, you got fully checked out. You were fully well. A week later, you're severely sick. You continue to get sick. You deteriorate. It's a no brain. The building got you sick. That's what the FBI agent said. Let's see what the, the FBI is one thing. Let's see what the, the FBI claims FBI commission's is top. But you don't get any higher than okay. any. Okay. Thanks, boss. No problem. You guys got good rides, or are you hiking? I've you? got oh, rides. Good. I'm just going to turn around and talk to. Let me see. I'll leave my drink. Uh, yeah. Just, you too. God bless you. Just, okay. Give me a second here. Let me turn.